Hey Ruby, since I'm obsessed with instructional screencasts, I thought I would just share something I do with my seventh grade. If, forgive me if you already know how to do this, but even though fifth and sixth graders do not have Gmail, um, they can use a phone and upload a picture into the Google Classroom. Um, I'll show you how I did that for my seventh graders. This is um, one of my seventh grade classes. And I have this thing called drop your button pictures here. So I just created an assignment and I wrote, if you sew a button to your fabric that you took home to take a picture and upload it here, I want to see how it went. And so 14 kids have done that or at least turned it in. And so what they do from their end is they take the picture with their phone. They have to be logged into their Nanuet Google account on their phone they have to have the Google Classroom app on their phone. But if they have all that, then it's actually pretty easy for them to open the assignment called Drop Your Button Pictures here and then just add their picture. So here's Kurt. He didn't have any buttons with him. He lost them, but he posted his finished emoji pillow. Um, they're just so cute, aren't they? Isabella Calamari, who has not been doing any other work for me, but she showed me her button picture. <laughs> so... This is where they're putting stuff. And so I, I think this would work for sixth grade. Um, but you would have to describe to them how to do it. And But if they had a, older siblings, the older siblings could certainly help them. This is also an easy way for kids to share videos because videos are like huge files and emailing them is ridiculous, right? But if they upload a video here with their phone um, to an assignment, it makes it actually pretty simple. So that's all. Use it or not. I loved your slideshow with all the student work, and um, I'm going to try to figure out how to maybe share some work of my students as well. Thanks.